Thank you. What's going on guys, it's Loaded Clips and I'm here at the range today bringing another video for you guys. And today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my truck gun setup and what I think is the ideal truck gun setup. Uh, so right before we jump into it, I just wanna thank you guys and give you all a shout out for tuning into the videos. Um, if you are here, if you are watching, I would appreciate you guys just dropping a like on the video. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel to see future videos and dropping a comment down below really helps me out you know i'm not the largest creator um, but each and every uh, uh all the support that you guys do give does mean a lot um, and does genuinely help the channel grow so i can continue to bring more videos for you guys so uh drop a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel all that good stuff and let's jump right into it so uh today this is what i'm going to be talking about this is my truck gun now you guys have seen this gun before, but it didn't look anything like this. This is uh, a 300 Blackout AR-15 uh, that I built. Um, this is an actual SBR. Uh, we'll get into that in a moment. Um, but before we dive too much into um, the, this gun in itself, um, let's talk about what exactly is a truck gun? Uh, and what is the purpose of a truck gun? Um, so obviously you hear the term truck gun, you think, oh, it's just a gun you keep in your truck. Um, that can be kind of true, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a truck specific thing. It's more just something that you can take with you, like in a vehicle, on the go. Uh, not your EDC, because your EDC is something that you wear on you at all times. But uh, your truck gun is a gun that you take with you in the case of, you know, a severe emergency, right? So you're driving along or you are at a location and you have like an active shooter type of situation breakout or you're in traffic um, and then there's like a chaotic road rage incident and someone is gunning people down um, or it could just be you know some type of catastrophic event you know uh, an invasion to the country uh, a terrorist attack um, while you're not at home and you know you may be in your car or close to your car and so you need some weaponry that you can get to quickly in order to defend yourself or stop a threat um, so that's the purpose of a truck gun that's what i see as the purpose of a truck gun um, and that's what i'm going to be talking uh, about today so um, i keep my truck gun uh, in a bag here um, i just keep it disassembled um, like kind of like you saw in the intro so um, if i need to um, i just quickly put the upper and the lower together and throw the suppressor on there and I'm good to go. Um, a lot of people may not think that that's a good idea. They think you should, you know, keep it fully assembled to get to it as quickly as possible. I don't disagree with that, um, but the logic behind that for me is if I need something immediately that I don't have time to wait, I'm just going to my EDC, which is already on me and ready to go, right? If I'm going to my truck gun, 
It means I need to back up for a second and seriously consider my approach. So I have time to put an upper on a lower. It takes like 30 seconds to throw everything together and then I'm in the fight. So I don't really think that's that big of a deal, but people may disagree. You do what you see fit and that's just my line of thinking there. All right, so now that we've talked about kind of the purpose behind a truck gun and what a truck gun is, uh, we can go ahead and dive into the actual gun itself. So once again, this is my uh, custom build right here. This is a 300 blackout. Um, the reason I went with the 300 blackout caliber um, is because for a truck gun, I definitely wanted it to be suppressed. Um, and 300 blackout is probably the best round to suppress. It's extremely quiet, hearing safe as well. So you don't have to worry about, you know, hearing, damaging your hearing if you ever, ever need to use it in a, an emergency situation. Um, and it gets really good performance um, with shorter barrels and in close range. So definitely ideal for a truck gun type setup. Um, talking about some of the things on it, um, I guess I'll start from the front, you know, tip to butt, as they say. Um, the, on the suppressor, we have the Aero Precision Lahar 30. Um, this is on a Silencer Co. ASR Bravo mount um, with the ASR muzzle brake uh, attached inside. So uh, I definitely thought it was important to have some type of quick detach system for a suppressor so that I could easily put it in a bag. Um, you can see the muzzle brake right here. Hopefully you can. Make sure that that focuses on that. Uh, but with this system, it's really easy to just pop the suppressor on and off, and screw it on. I've done a video on this in the past, but uh, just so I can reiterate for this video, uh, that way I can take it off, throw it in a bag, and take it out of the bag, throw it on there. Super quick, super easy, nothing complicated. Uh, it just works. Um, next up, I have the O light. Um, I I'm not really a huge fan of the Olight on this particular setup, not that there's anything wrong with Olight, um, but I just wanted, I think I want to do a more compact light uh, on this one. This is a little bit bulky for this setup, um, but it works and I had it, so I just threw it on there. Um, this is the Olight Odin, uh, I think it's the Odin Mini, yeah, the Odin Mini for Olight, uh, 1250 lumen light, so it does work. Rechargeable battery, um, that's a, something that's probably a more legitimate concern um, because, you know, in the event of, I don't know, like a terrorist attack or something, right? Um, having a rechargeable battery may not be the best idea as opposed to just having spare batteries available because you may not be able to, you know, charge your light or get access to electricity to charge your light if it's like a catastrophic type situation. That's drastic. You know, it's probably not going to happen, but if we're just kind of covering all of our bases, that is probably something um, I, I may want to address or that you may want to think about. Um, it's better to just have batteries available so that you don't have to rely on charging that. And it's also quicker. You don't have to wait for something to charge. Um, but yeah, that's the light. Definitely need a light on your setup because, you know, any time of day something can happen. So you want to be able to see um, if you're in a low light situation. Um, next up, we have the Emissary Handbrake Mini. Um, I got this, um, one, because I think it looks cool, <laughs> but it also is functional because it does help me get a good grip on the rifle and be able to pull it in nice and tight to get nice, clean, accurate shots. Very low profile. I think it makes it look pretty nice on there. So really like that. Um, this is a nine inch barrel, uh, right here. Like I said, this is an actual SBR. So this is a rifle, not a pistol, um, nine inch barrel. Uh, I believe this is a Roscoe manufacturing barrel. Um, and then I have a BCM, uh, M lock hand guard here. Um, that's nothing really a lot to say about that. Um, upper is from arrow position. Lower is from PSA. Um, Looking at the optic here, um, I actually have a Hollow Sun 507 comp. This is a pistol red dot, um, but it has a large window um, and it's more compact. So for like a bag gun or a truck gun, I do value having like a compact type setup. Um, 
but also at the same time being able to really see my dot clearly. Um, and that I have uh, a Scalar Works leap mount. Um, this is just to kind of elevate the optic for me because with a more compact dot, you know, I don't want to have to hunch down too low because I am pretty tall. So I don't want to have to hunch down too, too low. I can kind of just get a nice cheek weld. This is a very natural position for me to be in. I actually really should have the stock extended, but this is a more natural position for me to be in. So that riser puts it up to just the perfect height for me to get a nice cheek well and still be able to see my dot clearly. Uh, again, that's from Scalar Works. It's the Leap Mount, uh, the RMR footprint. Um, what's next, what's next? Um, I have the Daniel Defense grip right here. Um, this grip is very comfortable, but the main reason I chose this grip is that it has the integrated trigger guard right here so it's a nice smooth transition from the grip to the trigger guard um, the grip i had before here was just the grip by itself and then the regular plain old trigger guard um, that would cut into my fingers a lot when i was gripping it so this grip is definitely a lot more comfortable uh, on my hand when i grip it uh, because it's one continuous piece it doesn't really cut in my hand um, so i it's just a lot easier to hold really that's just a comfort thing uh and that's really it um next up we have take my mag out we have the radian raptor charging handle uh main purpose of this is because the standard charging handle is absolutely terrible uh, and the radian is comfortable so i opted to go with this one really easy to rack easy to grab comfortable and again looks cool so bonus points <laughs> all right um, no fancy trigger in here this is just a standard mil spec trigger um, didn't really get around to doing any upgrades to that not necessarily sure i'm going to um because this trigger is fine um but not saying i won't down the line put a new trigger in there um but yeah so and last thing on this this is the magpul slk stock um and i chose this stock because it's a lightweight compact stock that i like and that is comfortable so naturally we fit all those criteria and so i threw it on there and then we got this man that guy is shooting over there <laughs> so yeah naturally i Anyways, uh, it was a stock that I liked. It was compact, um, so it fit the criteria, and I threw it on there. Uh, and that is the build right there. If you're wondering why I have this red tape here, it's so I know it's a 300 Blackout mag, um, and it's kind of my designated truck gun bag right there. So there it is, the truck gun setup. And the best part about it is... Like I said, 300 Blackout is very easy to suppress. So this bad boy is hearing safe. Just threw casings all on my truck, but no ears. What more can you ask for? And there you have it. That's going to wrap it up for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that and took some valuable information from it. I uh, enjoyed making this video for you guys. Um, once again, drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Definitely got more videos on the way for you guys. And I will see y'all in the next one. Be safe, be smart, be blessed. And I'm out.